What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to another detailed camera comparison test. This time we are facing off two of the best budget flagship smartphones for 2015, the Moto X Pure and the OnePlus 2. But before we jump into the samples, let's take a look at the specs. The Moto X Pure has a 21 megapixel rear facing camera with an aperture of 2.0 that can shoot up to 4K resolution. And the OnePlus 2 has a 13 megapixel camera, also with a 2.0 aperture, that can shoot up to 4K resolution as well. For front facing cameras, the Moto X Pure has a 5 megapixel camera that can shoot up to 1080p, and the same goes for the OnePlus 2, but instead could only shoot up to 720p. So without wasting any more time, let's sit back, relax, and take a look at some samples. When it comes to autofocusing, the OnePlus 2 just doesn't do a great job at all. In some instances, it has a very difficult time focusing on the object, and I find this to be very consistent when the object is small with a well-lit background. The Moto X is the complete opposite, very fast and very accurate focusing in all of the conditions I tested it in. I also didn't notice the camera moving in and out trying to focus the object like it did on the OnePlus 2. When it comes to daytime video, both do a really great job. The footage is super crispy and the color reproduction is nice. The OnePlus 2 has much warmer colors, whereas the Moto X Pure is on the cooler side, but I'm about to give the point to the Moto X because the lens isn't constantly moving in and out, trying to focus like it does on the OnePlus 2, which is pretty annoying. For low light video, both do a pretty good job as well. Really great low light performance and sharp footage. I really don't have much complaints. Well, actually the only complaint I have is that the OnePlus 2 shoots at a much lower shutter speed to allow more light in, which means that it records in 19 FPS, which is horrible when you're trying to capture motion. On the other hand, the Moto X shoots in 24 FPS and still manages really great low light video. I did however experience some autofocus issues with the Moto X in low light, but it wasn't really that consistent, so I'm not gonna really give a point to either phone for low light video. For stabilization, both phones were shot in 4K resolution and were strapped on a device to ensure a very accurate stabilization reading, and from the looks of it, it's pretty obvious that the Moto X Pure takes the point. 
I find this interesting because on the spec sheet it states that the OnePlus 2 has optical image stabilization whereas the Moto X Peer only has digital. So that means that the software on the Moto X Peer is that amazing to outperform the optical image stabilization on the OnePlus 2. Great job Motorola. What's up guys and welcome to the front facing video camera and microphone test portion of the video. Between the OnePlus 2 and the Moto X Peer. Uh, both of the cameras are being shot in 1080p and they are also mounted on a device to ensure a very accurate stabilization reading. Also, if you guys are listening to this on your headphones, then I'm going to stay quiet for a bit so you guys can hear the background noise. For front facing video, I'm gonna have to give it to the Moto X for having sharper footage and a much wider field of view. I mean 720p just doesn't compete with 1080. Also now that I'm looking at the footage, the dynamic range is solid on both phones. There are some points where it over and under exposes, but overall both phones do fine. For microphone quality, the Moto X has a much louder mic than the OnePlus 2. This can be either a good or bad thing depending on how you look at it since having a louder mic picks up lots of background and wind noise. But I'll give the point to the Moto X for having a loud mic since that's what majority of the people are looking for. For daytime pics, both cameras shoot stunning pictures. The OnePlus 2 produces warmer pictures, whereas the Moto X is more on the cooler side. In my opinion, the OnePlus 2 is too much on the warm side for my taste. In some shots, the image looks really bad, like here with the color of the grass. I mentioned this many times before, but I do prefer warmer images because they tend to be more truer to life, but this is out of control. Sharpness, however, goes to the Moto X hands down. The 21 megapixel sensor beats the crap out of the 13 megapixel from the OnePlus 2. The image is just beautiful and crispy. The OnePlus 2, however, has more truer to life colors than the Moto X, and the actual colors of the flowers and leaves in this pic are more accurate from the OnePlus pic, and the same goes for the subscribe pillow and the yellow Jeep. Dynamic range is also pretty good on both phones. They are practically even in this category, but for overall daytime pics, the Moto X Pure takes the point. For indoor shots, the OnePlus 2 has much better exposure on auto. Everything is more clear and bright than the Moto X, but this can be adjusted easily on both phones. But since this entire comparison is done in auto, the point goes to the OnePlus 2. The Moto X Peer, however, takes a point for selfies. Now, even though both use a 5 megapixel front facing camera, the Moto X has a much sharper image and better color reproduction, not to mention a wider field of view. For low light pictures, the OnePlus 2 seems to have a more clear image than the Moto X. In this pic, the ATH engraving on the hinge is more visible on the OnePlus 2, and the back and this pic is pitch black on the Moto X, where you can still see the design slightly on the OnePlus 2. Even in low light mode on the Moto X, the pictures on the OnePlus look better and are more visible. There's just too much noise on the Moto X Pure and there seems to be a bluish tint applied to all the photos. The OnePlus 2 takes the point for low light pictures. Now when it comes to flash, it's a different story. The flash on the OnePlus 2 is way too powerful and overexposes most of the objects and washes out the pic. The flash is only usable at a distance on the OnePlus 2, whereas the flash on the Moto X can be used at any distance. So there you have it, the Moto X Pure has a much better camera than the OnePlus 2. If you guys enjoy these camera comparisons and want me to continue doing them, then make sure to backhand that like button and let me know which two phones you want to see for my next camera comparison by dropping a comment down below. Anyways, thanks again for watching, this is Ed from TechSource and I will see you in the next video.